Hey everyone, it's AJ here, and today I want to talk about the Rev Robotics Driver Hub. Now, if you talk to anyone at Rev Support, there's a pretty good chance they're going to tell you that it's very important to use the charging brick that came with the Driver Hub. But why is that? Well, to find out, we can use this USB testing device. It can show us the power that's going through the USB cable as it goes into the hub from the charger and it can break down the voltage and current being supplied by the charger. So let's take a look. I'll just go ahead and quickly plug in this USB tester in where you would normally plug in the charging cable. At the other end of this cable, we're gonna start by using the charging brick supplied by Rev Robotics and see what it does. It's gonna be a loud beep as we plug it in, and it's showing us the data. So what we can see right now is we're currently getting 12 volts from the charger. Let's compare this to another charging brick. This is an anchor charging brick that I use for travel. Relatively new, so it should be up to date with all the latest stuff, but let's see what it gives it. We get another beep as we plug it in and the power starts to flow, but this time we're only seeing a value of nine volts. These numbers are obviously different, so why is that? Well. If you look in the Rev Robotics documentation for the driver hub, or even on the back of many power bricks, you'll see a phrase USB PD. The PD stands for power delivery. This is a specification that allows a negotiation to take place between the device being charged and the power brick supplying that charge. The negotiation allows them to use higher voltages than you would normally see in the context of a USB device. Most USB stuff happens at five volts, but with USB PD, you can get up to nine, 12, 15, or even higher voltages than that. The purpose of increasing the voltage is to allow more power to be delivered, hence the power delivery name, without increasing the current that is flowing through each device. Now, with the Rev Robotics Driver Hub, what we just saw is that it supports the 12 volt charging defined by USB PD, but the Anchor Power Brick does not. You may hear that and start to think that maybe the Anchor Power Brick is deficient in some way, but that's not the full story. To understand what's supported by each power brick, it really helps to read the fine print that's often included on the brick itself. So. For example, if you read what's on the Rev Robotics supplied power charger, it supports 5, 9, and 12 volts. Obviously, it supports that 12 volts because we saw that being used with the driver hub. If you do the same thing on the Anchor power brick and read what it supports, it supports 5, 9, 15, and 20. It actually supports more, a wider variety of voltages and higher, so it can support more power. It just happens to not support the maximum voltage that the driver hub will take. So what we're starting to understand is that USB PD defines all of these voltage levels that can be accepted by a device or given by a charger, but it's not necessary that every power brick support each one, even up to their maximum. It could be the case, like with the anchor, that you choose to skip one. Maybe that voltage just isn't very popular. It isn't used by many real world devices. And it's better worth your time to put in the engineering to support those voltages used by popular phones, for example. So you can definitely charge them the fastest. That's probably what was going through Anchor's mind when they decided not to implement the 12 volts right in the middle of that range. So what we found out is that the Rev Robotics Driver Hub supports 12 volt USB PD charging, and the brick that comes with it does as well. And if you want the maximum out of your charging experience, you should find a brick that also supports 12 volts because that is what's gonna give you the best performance. That's all for me. If you like this video, please let me know. And if you have other things that you're curious about, leave a comment down below. I'll see you again very soon.